In this video, I'm gonna be showing you the easiest way to make a proper knocking point. The method is gonna be super simple and it's perfect if you're sick and tired of complicated fiddly knocking points or if you're a beginner looking to do a knocking point for the first time. So welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Ash and just like yourself, I'm an archer. I've spent the last decade or so competing internationally for the British team and now this channel and my website, Online Archery Academy, is dedicated to sharing all my knowledge and experience to help you improve your archery. Now, a key part of shooting and your equipment is the knocking point. And this is really important to get the knocking point accurate and have some method where it doesn't split through the serving strands of your string, it doesn't move up and down, and it doesn't come loose. So this was a kind of a point of pain for me when I started because all the methods that people would teach me were too complicated and fiddly and they'd either take far too long to make or they would fall off the string and start moving. So I'm going to show you a super simple method, it's really easy. So I've got everything set up here and I'll move the camera and show you what you need to get started. So I've got everything behind me set up here but what we'll need to get started is just some simple strands of serving material so i've got two lengths here of serving material which are roughly about 30 centimeters long which is the length pretty much of a bracing height gauge so that's also what we'll need is a bracing height gauge then you'll just need an arrow and this is so we can test the knock fit on the string and make sure the the gap between the knocking points is correct simple knife to cut the, the thread and a lighter um, so yeah, now we'll move the camera and get started with the knocking point. So the first thing we need to do here is clip the bracing height gauge on the string and then move it to the right height. So when you're doing this, you want to, ideally you would actually have the bow on your lap rather than vertical because the, the weight here of the bracing height gauge makes it slightly lower like this. So ideally you would have it lying horizontal, but for the sake of demonstration, it's on the chair here and then you just move it to the rest so that you can just see how you can move that and it just scrapes the rest there. So now we've got the bracing height gauge on there. All we need to do is we wanna look at the marks here and we want to start as a starting point, knocking point on this middle mark here. So that's eight millimeters, two, four, six, eight millimeters above the kind of center line here. And that will be the top of the bottom knocking point. So we simply, we get our string and place it through here and then just make a simple knot. So you just get the string here and make a simple knot like you would do when you're tying your shoelace. And then you just pull that knot tight and then position it where you need to here. And then that's the starting point. So make sure that's tight and it's in the place that you need it. And then what you can do now is take the bracing height gauge off and continue with the rest of it. So now you would do another knot around the other side of the string and then pull that exactly to below the previous one, like that. And then you do another one this side and you basically just pull it through each time like that perfect so what you do when you're using this method is make sure because of this method make sure that the gap make here you need to close that down each time if you push this bottom one up now it's gonna move all the knocking point because there's not enough grip on the string so do a few more and then move it and make sure those gaps are closed down so you just do another knot here And each time you do this, make sure it's below the previous one you did. So that's three I've done now. And now number four. And you can see here the, the small gaps in the string and we want to eliminate these in a minute. And now this is number six. So this is getting long enough now that we can start looking at the gaps and maybe fixing these gaps. But one, what I wanna do first is make sure that it's actually still in the same place because it's quite easy to move it 
it's a good idea to check. So you can put that on again and move it onto the rest and you can make sure, so I'm just moving it again in the same way to check where it is and you can see that the height is good, it hasn't moved down so that all the knocking points haven't moved down, all the knots, so you can just slightly compress them together and make sure that the gaps are not there. Just like that, just to make it a bit neater. And then we can carry on. So I've done, I believe, six there. Seven. Eight. Make sure when you're doing this that you're, you are pulling them fairly tight so that they don't come loose. Nine. And what I'm looking for here is the length of this. It still looks a little bit short to me. So I'm just doing a few more until the length of the knocking point is okay. And obviously the more you do, the less chance they're gonna come loose on the string. You don't wanna pull the material too tight because then there's a chance it will split through the serving. So there, this, is, this looks like a good length now. And all you can see here is obviously we've got these two ends, but we can cut these off in a minute. What we want to make sure of before then is to close down these gaps. So just use your fingers, put your finger at the top to make sure it doesn't move up. But just close down these gaps. And then make sure it's tight. Close down the gaps. You can see here that now it's forming a bit more of a nice compressed knocking point and it's always that last one that's going to be a little bit looser because it's obviously not got anything to secure it. So you can make sure this last one is really nice and tight. There. Now all we need to do to finish off is just uh, cut these bits here and then burn them off. So we just need to get the blade and the lighter and cut them off. Now with the lighter, I'd suggest maybe using a, <laughs> a slightly less aggressive lighter can burn them off and then just pop them down like that and that will help tie it in. So there you've used the end here, you've used the lighter to just tie that in. Now what we need to do is do the other, the top knocking point before securing them down with maybe a little bit of glue and then we're good to go. So now for the top one, all we do is put the arrow in the bow and put it on the string and make sure it's touching. See there how there's a gap? Make sure it's touching the knocking point, obviously. And you can use the string here to help with that. And then you do exactly the same thing. You start by tying a knot. it down there and then I didn't do another one and then another one and now you can see obviously the arrow is moved so this is where it's a good time to pull it down make sure everything is in the right place so you pull all that down make sure with the arrow here you want maybe just a tiny, tiny bit of wiggle room. So maybe just a tiny bit more than that. See there, there's an absolutely tiny amount of movement. That's good. Just that tiny wiggle, make sure you're not pinching the arrow, but you don't obviously want it too large. So that 
to just a tiny amount of movement. You can take the arrow off now and pop that to one side. And we can continue doing these knots until we've got the same number as on the bottom knocking point. So now again, you can see we've done the knots, but it's a little bit messy. So we just bring these together. Compress them down. And just like last time, we want to check before we finish, we want to check the height is good. So we just get the arrow. Pop it on the string and make sure of the place. So you can see it's not moving up and down. It's not been moved. So we'll maybe do one more. Tie this down and then make sure all those gaps are compressed. Like that. Then cut it. And the other side and then again you get the lighter and you just simply burn off the end just like that so this is a super simple knocking point to make as you can see the other thing we want to do at the end here is just flatten out any bits on the knocking point so you just get your bracing height gauge and you just use it just to flatten the knocking point slightly. This is gonna happen anyway when you shoot, but it's just to make sure it's all flat together like this. So you can make it, and what you can do is make sure as you go round, there shouldn't be a big bulge one way. So you can make sure, use your bracing height gauge to flatten the contact areas of it. And then now, all you need to do is get a little dab of super glue. I don't have any super glue handy today, but all you would do now is get some super glue, put it on there, leave it for 15, 20 minutes, and then you're ready to shoot. So there you have it. That is a super simple way to make a really good, proper knocking point. Really great for beginners, or if you just don't wanna do a more fiddly method. A couple of things here. A key tip is to make sure your center serving material is thinner than your knocking point material. So a really common thing is when people are trying to make sure the knocking point is tight, they will obviously, they'll get their knocking point material, do their loops or whatever, tighten it down and really pull it, and it can then slip through the center serving. And this is not good obviously, because then the center serving moves. What you want to make sure is that the knocking point material, i.e. this one, is actually slightly thicker than the center serving material in an ideal world. That makes it less likely that you're gonna pull through those strands. So, for example, on, on this string, I have angel 0018 is the center serving, and then this knocking point material is angel 0021. So it makes it less likely I'm gonna pull through and cause that to move up and down later on. Another thing you can do is before you do your actual knocking point, you can pull the thread through some hot melt glue. So you can get a hot melt stick and pull the thread through that. Or you can also sometimes use a little bit of wax, but hot melt is much better. Pull the string through the hot melt, and then you can very quickly, with a maybe not the flame I had today, but with a, a really soft lighter, you can just heat it up a little bit, and that means the hot melt on the thread will melt and then glue together, and it will make it really solid so it doesn't move or come loose or whatever. So I hope you found that video useful. As always, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel, which will be floating above here if you haven't already. I'll also put another video to my more advanced knocking point here. This is the knocking point that I would recommend for kind of pro level archers or someone who really wants a super secure knocking point. This one today is great for beginners and it's really simple to make, but the best knocking point is this one by far. So take a look at that video if it takes your fancy today. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.